don't build the house before you have the blueprints. If you build a house without blueprints, it will either cost you an arm and a leg, fall apart in a week's time, or both. Similarly, you should never start a design without first taking the time to plan your approach. At Killer, we do this through wireframes. Set up your artboard with the dimensions of your end product. If you don't have set dimensions, always consider starting at 1,000 pixels wide. If you're designing an infographic, try to keep it no longer than 5,000 pixels tall. Next, place the word-for-word -word script of your piece off the artboard for ease of reference. If you don't have a word-for-word -word script yet, stop everything you're doing because you can't start a design without having a narrative to inform your choices. This narrative should also take into consideration your target audience and the end goals of the piece. As you wireframe the design, consider the target audience and the goals of the project. These should inform the illustration style you choose, as well as your fonts and your information hierarchy. If you're designing to a set of brand guidelines, still consider how to apply those guidelines in a way that speaks to your target audience. As you lay out your wireframe, don't do any illustration or design work just yet. Instead, use boxes and dummy data viz as placeholders and provide clear explanations of your intended design elements. This will help you commit to the right execution for the work rather than the easiest choices. This will also give you an opportunity to present your ideas to any stakeholders to pressure test your own assumptions. Essential visual communication rule. Good visual strategists ask WTF. No, I'm not suggesting that you're pulling your hair out, dropping F-bombs everywhere. Instead, I'm suggesting that your font choices have the power to invoke emotions and meaning with your audience. And therefore, you should always question why that font when choosing your fonts for any content that you design. Think about it. Based on the font choice for this ad, would you ask this clown to come perform at your nephew's fifth birthday party? Fonts can help you convey the right message or they can wholly detract from it. When creating content with visual communication in mind, it's imperative that you choose fonts that resonate with your target audience, while also representing the information at hand as well as the brand that you're designing for. Luckily, the best fonts in the world are at your fingertips through the Adobe Creative Cloud. Simply pick the ones you love, activate them, and they'll become available in Illustrator for you. When working with fonts, it's important that you don't go overboard with too many styles and options. Choose three fonts at most for your content, though working with just one or two is even better. To diversify a single font, consider using, at most, three different font weights in your design. Always use the same font and weight for headlines in your content. Supporting text can be a different font that complements